The sun rises over the Sahara, casting light across endless dunes, mountain ridges, and city skylines. From Morocco to Mozambique, a quiet revolution is underway. Not a revolution of politics or protest, but of power. Africa, once described as energy poor, is becoming the world's fastest growing renewable energy frontier. For decades, much of the continent lived with unreliable electricity. More than half a billion people still lacked regular access to power in the early 2020s. But that story is changing at breathtaking speed. With more than $1 trillion in green energy investments pledged by African governments, regional banks, and international partners, a new energy map of the world is emerging, and Africa sits at its center. In Morocco, the North Solar Complex stretches across the desert near Warzazat, one of the largest solar facilities on Earth. Its mirrors follow the sun like a golden sea, powering millions of homes. In Kenya, steam rises from the earth in the Rift Valley, where geothermal plants hum beneath volcanoes. The country now generates more than 90% of its electricity from renewables. In Namibia and South Africa, plans for green hydrogen exports are drawing global attention, promising clean fuel that could transform heavy industry. And in West Africa, nations such as Nigeria, Ghana, and Senegal are blending solar grids with natural gas, ensuring energy security while cutting carbon emissions. It's hard to imagine, but just 20 years ago, Africa's total electricity generation was smaller than that of Spain. Today, new infrastructure, mobile-based financing, and regional power pools are rewriting that reality. Where diesel once roared, solar panels now gleam. Where blackouts once stalled hospitals and schools, microgrids now bring light to rural communities. This transformation isn't charity. It's strategy. Africa's governments have realized that renewable energy is not just clean. It is the foundation of modern prosperity. Across the continent, renewable energy capacity is expected to quadruple by 2035. The African Development Bank estimates that each billion dollars invested in energy infrastructure creates up to 30,000 direct and indirect jobs. Solar manufacturing plants in Egypt and South Africa are expanding. Battery assembly lines are being planned in Kenya and Rwanda. Wind turbine parts are being produced in Nigeria. But the real shift isn't only industrial, it's geopolitical. The world's energy future is tilting toward Africa. As Europe and North America struggle with aging grids and high costs, investors are turning south. The African Continental Free Trade Area, AFCFTA, now the world's largest free trade zone, gives companies access to 1.4 billion consumers and a combined GDP approaching $4 trillion. Energy is the fuel that will make this engine run. From Gulf sovereign wealth funds to Asian technology firms, capital is pouring into African renewables. China finances solar industrial parks. The United Arab Emirates funds wind farms in Egypt. The United States and European Union support grid modernization through public-private partnerships. But unlike in past decades, African leaders are insisting on local participation, training, technology transfer, and ownership. In northern Kenya, the Turkana Wind Project employs hundreds of locals who once relied on herding livestock. The project now powers over a million homes and funds community schools. In Rwanda, young engineers design mini-grids that light up villages deep in the hills. Many of these systems are owned and maintained by cooperatives proving that energy independence can start from the grassroots. Women, once disproportionately affected by energy poverty, are now at the forefront of this movement. Female-led startups are building solar cookstoves, designing battery kits, and leading clean tech accelerators from Lagos to Nairobi. Africa's energy future is also an environmental opportunity. Although the continent contributes less than 4% of global carbon emissions, it bears some of the worst effects of climate change. By turning to renewables, African nations are both protecting their ecosystems and creating new models of growth that the rest of the world can learn from. The Congo Basin's vast rainforests, the Niger River's hydro potential, and the Sahel's sunlight combine into a natural advantage unmatched anywhere on Earth. Technology is the great equalizer in this story. Mobile money platforms like M-Pesa allow citizens to pay for energy in small installments. Smart meters track consumption through mobile apps. In Ghana, data scientists use satellite imagery to plan optimal solar deployment. In Egypt, AI systems monitor wind turbines for predictive maintenance. 
African universities are producing a new generation of engineers who see energy not as an imported commodity, but as a local craft. By 2030, the continent's renewable energy market could reach $1 trillion, according to IRENA. The biggest opportunities lie in five sectors. Utility-scale solar and wind projects, mini-grid and off-grid systems, battery storage and green hydrogen, transmission networks, electric mobility infrastructure major funds from Kenya, Nigeria, and South Africa are joining forces to create a continental green infrastructure bank. The goal? Finance African projects with African capital. The energy race is no longer between East and West. It is between old and new systems. While established economies debate carbon taxes, African nations are building clean energy corridors from scratch. They can leapfrog fossil fuel dependence entirely, just as they skipped landline telephones and went straight to mobile. This agility could make Africa the world's first net green continent by mid-century. Energy access transforms culture. In Malawi, solar-powered irrigation pumps help farmers grow crops year-round. In Senegal, electrified fishing ports reduce waste and boost exports. In Ethiopia, hydropower keeps textile factories running around the clock. Every kilowatt generated sparks a ripple, new jobs, better healthcare, stronger education, more time for innovation. Of course, the road isn't without obstacles. Inconsistent regulation, financing gaps, and grid losses still slow progress. But continental cooperation is changing that. The African Union's Agenda 2063 places energy integration at its heart. Regional power pools in southern, eastern, and western Africa are beginning to interconnect, meaning a surplus in one country can supply a shortage in another. When that happens, blackouts will become history, and Africa's combined grid could become the world's most dynamic renewable network. Between 2025 and 2035, Africa's installed renewable energy capacity could exceed 600 gigawatts, more than enough to power the entire European Union's residential sector. New technologies like hydrogen fuel cells, carbon capture, and advanced storage are already being tested in pilot projects from Morocco to Namibia. Analysts say the energy transition could add $2 trillion to Africa's GDP and create tens of millions of skilled jobs. Picture the year 2040. High-speed electric trains glide across the Sahel. Solar cities in North Africa export power through undersea cables to Europe. African-made electric vehicles drive through Nairobi and Accra. Children study under reliable light powered entirely by their own country's resources. That's not a dream. It's the trajectory already in motion. A continent once defined by energy scarcity now defined by energy leadership. As the world searches for a sustainable path forward, Africa isn't just catching up, it's showing what the future looks like. A future powered by sunlight, wind, water, and human ambition. A $1 trillion energy transformation proving that when innovation meets determination, a new global powerhouse is born.